Rav Galinsky Alav Shalom says, said that one of his jobs in yeshiva was to go collect money in Purim from Matanot Le'ebyonim. There was a rich person in the town and they all knew that he gives a good nidaba, he gives a good, uh, he gives a good donation. And his donation was like $2,000, $3,000 back then. It's a lot of money. So what did Rabbi Yaakov Galinsky do? As a bahur, he went to him, he collected $2,000 and he knew that the sons of this rich man don't want people coming in, keep on repeating and coming in because they know they'll, they'll take everything that the father has. So they stood by the door and they knew exactly who came and who didn't come. So Yaakov Galinsky went, he collected the $2,000, but he forgot his wallet. He forgot, quote unquote, his wallet. He left it over there. He leaves. He, come, he comes back the next day. The son sees him. He says, what, you were here yesterday. You collected the money. What do you want exactly? He says, no, no, no. I, I, I forgot my wallet inside. Can I go inside? He says, no problem. You forgot your wallet. Go inside, get your wallet. He goes inside, gets his wallet. The rich man sees him. He's about to leave. The rich man says, one second. You don't want a donation for Matanot al He says, no. Uh, if I'm here, why not? Uh, you want to give me a donation? No problem. He says, yeah. For sure I'll give you a donation. He gives him another $2,000. He gets the money. He goes back to Yeshiva. He tells the people in Yeshiva the story, but he says one thing. He says, it's beautiful when you leave your belongings by a rich person because only good will come out of it in the end. So he said, what do you mean exactly? He says, it's beautiful when you leave your belongings on Hashem. When you leave everything in your life up to Hashem. Because Hashem always pays back. And when Hashem pays back, oh, Hashem pays back a hundredfold, a thousandfold. Believe in Hashem. 